Welcome to Watch Card's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. For today's story, I want to cover some of the information security topics that have arisen due to the recent Paris terrorist attacks. I think we're all aware of the abhorrent uh, terrorist attacks that extremists launched against Paris, and I think it's safe to say that the free world stands united in support for Paris and France against these sorts of terrorist activities. But since then, a number of information security stories have cropped up in the news. The most popular story over the past two days was over the weekend, Anonymous declared a, a cyber war against the ISIS terrorists. And this is something that they've done in the past with Operation ISIS. Back with the Charlie Hebdo attack also in France, Anonymous came together to say they were going to unmask these terrorists online. So this is something Anonymous has been known to do before, and doxing, or kind of unveiling Anonymous folks online, is really something that Anonymous does quite regularly. In this sort of operation, like the previous Operation ISIS, or today's Operation Paris, Anonymous tends to target Twitter uh, handles and Twitter aliases that are used for this sort of terrorist activity, and they tend to look for websites, and of course they disclose these publicly on Pastebin. Now I think everyone in the free world wants justice against these terrorist actors out there. However, I don't think cyber vigilantism is necessarily a good idea. Even if a, a group has best interests in mind, people are human, especially when you have a collective of decentralized, not necessarily organized hacktivists it could be possible for false positives, and this sort of situation has happened before. And if somebody misidentifies a person as someone associated with a terrorist organization, this could be very, very detrimental to an innocent person's life. So while I could see people wanting to help uh, support Paris and, and find these particular attackers, cyber vigilantism is probably not the right way to go. Another information security topic of interest that will be coming up over the next few days, months, or even the next year is encryption. Many law enforcement agencies around the world have been trying to find ways where they can decrypt people's data, whether it be Apple, Microsoft, the next new Internet of Things device we use. They argue that in order to catch criminals, they need to have means to be able to decrypt these devices in the case of it being a suspected criminal. Now, I think this Paris attack is going to be a new opportunity for law enforcement to fight for this sort of decryption. However, I personally believe that encryption is very, very important to the public at large. We use encryption to protect our bank transactions. We use encryption to share private communications with friends and family with which we share data that we don't want to share with the whole wide world. Also, people that might find themselves in less free countries where a dictator censors what they can say might use encryption to reach out and talk to the world at large. So the idea of putting a backdoor or putting a method for law enforcement to uh, decrypt messages without any sort of transparency is probably not a good idea in my personal opinion. Really, the goal of terrorists is to make their victims angry and afraid. And in this state of anger and fear, they often make bad decisions that may be detrimental to a free society at large. So while I think we all should come together to support Paris, I do think we need to be very careful when we think about our decisions on how we handle public encryption. And I think if we're looking to find ways to help France, we should be careful with things like cyber vigilantism. You know, helping unmasked bad actors is appealing. I could see why you would want to help authorities find these terrorists and bring them to justice. But if you don't follow investigative rigor, you could accidentally accuse an innocent, which could ruin people's lives. Personally, I think the true investigation should be left to professionals. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.